I'm joined now by head coach Trey Oliver. Coach, first and foremost, congratulations on the win. Uh, would you like to make an opening statement on today's game? Well, you know, I thought our guys, again, played extremely hard. Um, again, way too many penalties, but uh, I'm happy for them. As much as they've been through and to start off the way we started, you know, I'm, I'm just really happy for our guys and, you know, their hard work and, and their attitude has really paid off. Coach, what it means to you, can you just put it into words, uh, to get your first win as a college coach right here at your alma mater today? I mean, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling. I wish it would have been a little prettier than that, you know, 16 penalties. Um, but, you know, every win is a good win, especially your first one. You never, you know, forget that one. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so excited for our team and, you know, what our guys have accomplished. The win makes everything, food tastes better, sleep better, drinks taste better. What will it do for your confidence, mood, and everything moving forward for your team this week? Well, we know we have a good football team. And, you know, we... We didn't play well the first three games. And, you know, we knew that the, the first three games um, didn't define this program or this football team. And we've been through a lot the first three weeks of the season. And, you know, when I saw the guys this past week, that was the best week of practice we had uh, all, since fall camp. And, you know, I knew when I saw those guys lock in last week, Thursday was the best practice that we had of the week. And um, they, were, they were really focused. Now, again, I have got to keep harping on it. 16 penalties, you know, it's just hard to, it's, it's, it's hard to get over that. What kind of confidence does it give this team uh, going forward here? A lot. A lot. Because they, we knew we were a good football team and had a chance. We had a bunch of injuries. We were on our fourth-string quarterback. We played our fifth-string quarterback today. Uh, but beside that, these guys overcame. And, um, you know, we got a you know, taste of victory, and they're extremely excited. And I think, you know, uh, it's more to come. Uh, you what? struggled to get in the end zone the first three games, but to get in there on that first drive. What does it kind of do moving forward to kind of set the tempo for the day? We, we, we can get in there on that first trip to the red zone. Well, you know, we, we knew we could do it. And that's one thing we looked at what we were doing, who we were doing it with. And, uh, you know, I sat in with the offense and we watched all the red zone uh, trips we had. And it wasn't play calling. You know, it's just about execution. And guys understanding that they do their job. You know, everybody will get balls, everybody gets touches, everybody eats. So, um, you know, I think we did, uh, we're a little bit better with our assignment this week. And, um, you know, 45 points uh, proved that. Trey, I see you still got the wheels to get away from the uh, water bath. Yeah, I got, I got away from that first one, man. I don't know where that second one came from. <laughs> and they got uh, my man, State Trooper Tommy. I told him he should have tased somebody. <laughs> uh, what part of your game plan that you worked on all the week that uh, you, say you saw work today? Well, I think we, we spent a whole lot of time talking about red zone. And uh, last game we had 400 yards of total offense, moved the ball up and down the field, but uh, we were 0 for 5 in the red zone. So, you know, I, we're going to spend time with things we need to improve on. We're not just going to be practicing the practice. Uh, you know, whatever we did last week, we're not going to do this week if that didn't work. So we're going to focus on fundamentals um, and, you know, things of that nature. And then at the same time, you know, where, where we had issues. So uh, obviously that was red zone, so that's where we spent a whole lot of our time this week. Red zone in two minutes. And, you know, that was a big drive we had in our two-minute drill uh, right, before, right before the half. It was a big score. Coach, you mentioned everybody eating 11 different receivers with the catch today. Um, how did that happen for the offense? We played 11 of them, 11 of cup balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's just, if guys do their job, everybody's going to be able to catch balls in this offense. And you don't know when, you know, when it's coming to you. It's all about what the defense gives us and the quarterbacks read. But we have, they have to be disciplined in where they are. Last week we saw in the red zone guys drifting, trying to be a little greedy. So rather than running a five-yard route, they were running seven-yard routes. Uh, I think we were a little more disciplined with our route running today. And it proved, it showed. And, you know, guys popped open. Then when they caught the ball, they made some plays. Are you happy with uh, Pee Wee's decision-making to be able to distribute out to 11 different guys? Definitely, 45 points, man, we ain't scored a touchdown in three weeks, but, uh, or however long. Yeah, Pee Wee's a, you know, he's a soldier, and, you know, as you can see, he's the, he's the future of this program. And, um, you know, I love Pee Wee to death. He's a great young man, great student, great student athlete, and, um, you know, he's a playmaker. He's a gamer. He did it in high school, and he showed he can do it here. Seven sacks. Talk about your defense and getting out of the quarterback today. Yeah, that's what they do, and they've been doing it, you know, all year. We got to... I think play together as a team, offense, defense, and the kicking game. And a couple times we put them in bad positions, like with the only score they got tonight. Uh, they ran a kickoff back to the fit to midfield, and then we got a crazy penalty um, to push them down even further. But you know, you hold a team under 100 yards total offense for a game. You know that says a lot about you know what Coach Audrey Lindsay and our defensive staff is doing. All right, Coach Morgan State next week. How do you feel going into conference play? I don't know. We're going to enjoy this one tonight. 
um, and we'll get on Morgan State uh, first thing in the morning. But uh, we're excited to be, you know, in conference play. I just told the guys, you know, zero zero. Um, it started the new start of a new season, so we're gonna take it one game at a time. Of course, you know, we're back on the road, um, the traveling Eagles. But uh, you know, we're gonna be just fine. We're looking forward to it. I know Morgan State's a good team, and um, uh, coach does a good job up there. What are you gonna do with that game ball thing we presented to you? What am I going to do with the game ball? Well, Trav just took it from me. I hope he don't try to punt it or something. But he's, <laughs> he said he's going to frame it for me, and I'll probably put it in my office. But, um, you know, I'm excited about it, and, and, and you know, today's a special day. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.